Alex Proctor was 55 years old before he found out who he truly was. Now, he was raised in Timmins and Oakville, and he knew he was adopted, but he knew nothing about his heritage and nothing about his ancestry. Adoption in the 1960s was very different than it is today. Now, over the next several days, we'll be sharing part of Alex's story, all culminating in the premiere of Veracity, The Long Road Home, on Sunday, February 26th, right here on City TV. I knew nothing about where I came from or who my parents were. I was adopted, my mother was white, my dad was black. You always, as an adopted kid, kind of wonder who they were, where they were, even whether they were alive or not. Growing up, his life looked ideal. Two parents, a posh home, lots of siblings. But when you scratched behind the surface, the idyllic suburban family was not what it seemed. That was the source of a lot of uh, pain. One day, I got into a fight with my brother, Pat, and we shared a bedroom. And they were like, okay, well, we're going to separate you two. I came home from school, and they were like, here's your new bedroom. And it was down in the basement, in the crawl space in the basement. To this day, I mean, I'm a lot better, but the dark has always been a problem with me because of that. My relationship with my adopted parents was non-existent. You were just there. I felt that I was a burden. My adoptive parents drank a lot every day. One of the most clearest memories I have of them are with a rock glass, literally always in their hand. I mean, they just come home and that was it. As a kid, you're like, why do they hate me so much? What am I doing so wrong? Just sucked, man. With seemingly no other option, Alex started acting out, trying to get his parents' attention. And when that didn't work, the police's, who connected Alex with Children's Aid. I went to the group home. That first night was pretty rough. A few hours ago, you were just at home. I sleep with one eye open. I got a knife under my bed. I said, who do I got to call? I got, I, I got out of there. Between the ages of 12 and 18, I was probably placed in at least a dozen placements. I moved around so many times, <laughs> I can't remember the places, the people. It's so many in your head. When I was 15 years old, I was walking by the CAS office, and I thought, I'm gonna go up there and ask some questions. I gave them all the information I knew, which was very little. And they said, okay, well, we'll get back to you. You know, never got it. Defeated, Alex gave up on looking for his family and resolved to be a lone wolf until a former flame stepped in. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. Even though he was a well-rounded person, I felt like something was missing. I couldn't give him the love that I feel like a family could. So I got him a kit from Ancestry prior to his birthday. When you're in my position, when you're in an adoptive situation that didn't go well, it's hard to think about family that way. It was very, very difficult to make this decision. And I went, okay, I've heard so many times. That's it, I'll do it. One Saturday morning, I got a notification on my phone. I said, this is it, babe, this is your parents. And he was like, how do you know, how do you know? And I said, well, it says a 50% match for each parent. And I just stared at her, I was like, mm, no. I didn't fully believe that the whole thing was actually coming to fruition. But it was, and what Alex was about to discover is that he hadn't just found his parents, but a lineage so steeped in history that it makes up an important part of the Canadian fabric. Now you can join Alex in his journey to discover his past this Sunday in Veracity, The Long Road Home, airing at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, right here on City TV.